And one of the things in my class is because I like chocolate just as much as I like cheese, maybe even a little bit more. <laughs> so all of my classes end in chocolate. Uh -huh. So it would be remiss if I didn't have and you have chocolate. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. All right. That's so how wonderful. Fun is mm -hmm. that? And you could do other things. It wouldn't have to be chocolate, right? You could do lemon or you could do mm -hmm. almonds. No, just or yeah. yeah, but you know. Mm -hmm. I think that was That's good. This is fabulous. And it was just so much fun seeing people have that aha moment when they were like wow, I could do this, I could make cheese, it's not that hard. And so that's really my passion, is, is empowering people and teaching people to do something maybe they didn't know they could do. And then especially when it ties in a lifestyle. It's not just to get the food, but to understand where your milk comes from. Even if you're never gonna own a dairy animal, you should understand that's where milk comes from. You know, I actually really like the hard work that's involved and I love the animals, but I also really just love being able to share it with other people who might not be so lucky as to live on a farm. You know, I mean, I had wanted to live on a farm since I was a little girl. I think it's in my blood. My grandfather always had farms and then it skipped a generation. We're all city kids that grew up in the city and, you know, all had regular city type jobs, but all really felt this pull to the country. I think for me, having my kids grow up in a space like this where they could climb the trees and they could go outside unsupervised and they could learn about life and death in a way that I don't think um, a lot of people learn about. I mean, my kids have been at all of the births of our goats and they've been at a couple of deaths. And to me, that's really probably the biggest benefit is that it's making us all appreciate everything about life more by being this close to it.